Hey guys, it's Katie. Um, so this is like the third-ish time I've filmed this video. Um, <laughs> I've been trying to make this video throughout the week. I've also been very busy um, working on my show, my new TV show that I have to do for MVTV. Um, and, well, I'm doing for MVTV, I guess. My new TV show that I'm working on, um, which I put on a little sneak peek on my YouTube channel that I took down after a few days because... <sighs> Not even gonna get into that rant. Anyway, anyway, um, so I had a preview up there for a little while for people for people to give me feedback. So now I'm working on the actual thing and finishing it all up, and that's great. Um, I was on a podcast called Live from Spruce Drive, so I'm gonna give them a shout out to Shiva and JD for thank you, thank you for being on, for letting me be on, and uh, I'll put a link to their to their thing right down there. Um, but today I wanted to talk about settling. This is something who um, I've talked about this like briefly in a lot of my older videos that I now call my fetus videos because I was always just like, hey, so, <laughs> and that's not me at all. This is this is seriously me. So you know, part of my thing of 2017 is I'm working on being the most authentic I can be on my channel, at least. Um, and not on my channel, I'm just being me, and I'm being how I am to everyone else. I'm just sitting here, um, and not trying to, you know, clickbait. <laughs> well, anyway, um, today I wanted to talk about settling, because this is something that really happens to me, and actually recently kind of did happen to me, and I just, I want to talk about it, because it's a thing that a lot of people don't understand that they're actually doing, and I'm hoping to help others. That's my whole thing, is I want to help other people. I like to help other people more than myself. Sure, you do need to take time for yourself, but at the same time, now that I've helped myself um, at the end of 2016, I want to take it into my own hands and take, you know, everyone else into my own hands and try to, try to help them. I love the quote that I saw one time that says, a man that, a man, or I guess a woman, a man or a woman who wants to keep you will never put themselves in a position to lose you. That is something huge that I, like, that was a huge revelation for me when I, when I read that. Because it's true. If you know that it's not going to end up working out, then don't settle for something that's not right for you. You know it's a right person that you're with when you just feel it. <laughs> I had this whole conversation with a friend of mine the other day when I mentioned how I, fi I found out this thing. I found the study or something. I forget what I said. Um, it was like 4 a.m. So, whew. Um, but I read a thing one time saying that you know it's true. It's a true love when you don't have to have a reason for why you like them. It's so true. Like that's insanely true. Because when someone asks you, "Hey, why are you with this person? Why do you like this person? What about them do you like?" If it's real, you shouldn't even have to have a reason for it. If you have to give up a reason and just to justify why you like them then it's not real and that's something like really extreme to think about because sometimes you do have little things you love about that person like like I could say I like his eyes or I like all this all this and that um the compatibility you can say a number of things but in the end if someone were to ask you that question what would your response be another big thing you need to think about is if you know if it's true or not if you know it's true or not if you ask yourself the question would I marry them one day and your response will vary you should immediately, if you know, you'll know it's true when immediately you say yes. If he were to give me a ring right now, I would marry this guy right now. Because I mean, I've even been that, I've been in that place before. I know that like if this guy were to give me a ring right now, I would be okay with it. But you have to also remember that people will change. Like I said in my last video, people will change. We never stay stagnant. You can get to know a person in three to four years, but that's just going to be the same person. You want someone who's going to grow with you. So if someone were to ask you, would you marry this person right now? And you say no then think about it. That's telling a lot. Your first impression of a person is really telling of how that person really will be. If you think this person is creepy, or if you think this person is way too outgoing for you, if you think things like that, that's never going to go away. Your first impression of a person is never actually going to go away. Because a first impression is really telling. That's why whenever I'm like meeting meeting new friends for the first time, or if I'm meeting like my boyfriend's friends for the first time, or their parents or anything. I like to be as proper as I can because that's who I am. I don't want them to, I don't want them to get another kind of image of me because that image is never going to actually go away. You have to remember, first impressions are really crucial. Like if you go on a first date and you see that they're on their phone texting another person for the whole time, like that's happened to me before. If you see that, then that's telling of who they are, how they're going to be in the relationship. 
if you are texting someone who has a girlfriend or a boyfriend or someone and you think you like them and they think they like you back but they're still in their relationship then that's really telling of the person sometimes it's not all like sometimes like you know of course guys can be friends with girls and girls can be friends with guys without having to make it whole a whole relationship out of it but I have seen friends and I have seen friends who have had girlfriends or boyfriends and then they end up liking another person while staying with their boyfriend and then I don't know it's confusing it's it's really confusing but that should be t that should be like a big red flag for the other person if they're in a relationship and they're still able to talk to you and say yeah we're gonna be together one day and say yeah we're gonna be dating one day I'm gonna date you and I want to date you after I'm done with this person then that's telling of how they're gonna be when you're they're in your relationship. One time I had, um, I kind of liked a guy who I found out was flirting with so many other, so many other girls while he was still in a one year, he was still in like a couple year relationship. It was insane. Cause I'm the person that I've been in only three relationships, four actual relationships, but I've dated a bunch of guys. And it's like, it sounds really, it doesn't sound good when I say that I've dated, but I've gone on like first dates, that's what I mean. <laughs> I've gone on a lot of first dates, very little seconds, and very, very, very little relationships because there are certain aspects of a person that you can tell right by the first impression that can tell you how the relationship is gonna end up going. <laughs> like, if you don't like, if you don't like one certain thing about them, like one time I've dated, like I've dated a few jocks who don't understand marching band and they don't think it's an actual sport. And for me, it's my life, and I can't be with someone who is going to degrade my life. You know what I mean? I can't be with someone who's going to think that my life isn't worth it. It wasn't worth more than theirs. That's not That's not how a relationship is going to have to work out. So then I don't go on a second date. I can't do it. It's simple aspects like that of a person that you can tell how the relationship is going to go out. So with that, never settle for someone who's not going to value you like the way you need to be valued. Like if you're with someone and they don't give you the time that you need or they don't give you everything that you need out of another person, like let's say you need a lot of attention out of a person and they can't give it to you, then why are you with them? <laughs> it's a good question to ask. I mean, I understand it's just high school and you're just enjoying it and meeting new people, but at the same time, if they're not going to be able to give you what you need, then don't be with them. Your right person should be able to give you every single thing you need and more, and you won't know it until you meet them. We all have like a list in our heads of people, of someone that we would like, and like our perfect ideal person in words. But you're never gonna know who that person is until you actually go out and try. You need to go out and find someone else that can make you happier than you ever imagined. And actually by this age, by my age, we all have already met that person. Like I like to say I've already met the one just because it's a fact that, well, it's a fact that most, 80% of people have already met the one by the time they turn 18. Like, I'm almost 18 and I've most likely met the one by now. Things like that you just can't overlook. Special connections between another person. You can't just look, you can't overlook a connection. I've tried running away from connections before. I dated a guy um, during, I dated a guy long distance one time and I just, at one point, I just stopped texting him. I stopped talking to him. He never knew why, and I eventually, like two months later, I told him about it. But um, I told him why. But like, I just couldn't feel a connection anymore. And um, this was like, this was like junior year when that happened too, <laughs> which I was still trying to figure everything out. You know, junior year, whatever. Um, that was junior year when that happened. But um, I couldn't feel a connection anymore, and I knew I there was something better out there for me. And later on, something better did come along, which is great. But your best is yet to come, so don't settle for someone who's not going to be your best. This will not be the last one. Sure, there are people that, of course, I've seen in high school relationships work out, which is great. But if you know in the back of your mind, or if you know in the back of your mind that it's not going to work out, or if you ask yourself those questions like, would I marry them? Yes, but, or that's an answer of yours, yes, but, or you have to think of a reason why you have to like them then go on and find someone where you don't even need a reason. Go out and find that one person that just makes your heart flutter, makes you happier than you can ever imagine. Never settle for someone who's not gonna make you feel that way. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, and I will see you guys later. Bye.